As many freelancers know, being your own boss is kick-ass. But also, on that side, being your own boss means you need to pay yourself. And sometimes that means you need to work a lot, which also means you don't get time off. Or does it? I want time off. So I thought to myself, what can I do to relieve some of that stress of not having income while I'm off on vacation or while I'm just relaxing? So as an animator, I thought, what do I have to offer? Well, I've got assets. I've got, you know, intros, outros, uh, lower thirds, all the stuff I've created for other people. Why can't I take that, make it more generic and sell it? Hey everyone, John Filipkowski here, freelance animator, motion designer, full-time coffee snob. So I gave myself a challenge. I want to see if I can do within a weekend's time, create an asset or template that I can upload onto a site that can be sold while I don't have to do anything. So that's what I'm going to do. $500 two-day challenge. Let's go! So if anyone's got any tips, if you're watching this and uh, you're looking what I'm doing and I'm going through it, um, and you have any tips, please feel free to throw it in the comments. I'd love to know uh, what I can do better or if there's a better way to streamline or something, but be gentle. It's my first time, okay? First thing I did was do a little research. I first went into Envato Marketplace. This seems to be the biggest place for this type of stuff with assets and whatnot. So here we are on the website. They've got a lot of different things you can sell on here from After Effects, Logo Stings, Premiere Pro, all the stock footage, add-ons, blah, blah, blah. I've got backgrounds, elements, I, motion graphics. Let's start there. We're MoGraph people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, scrolling down. Got some new bestsellers. What do we got here? Cartoons. That's not my style. Ooh, snow. Okay, that looks promising. I've got assets like that. 4K lens flare. I don't know. That's like, there's plugins for that. YouTube stuff. Okay. This one looks good. Bestseller. Okay. I know there's a project I worked on recently that I've got made some assets for. Something like this in particular. I wonder what I could do to kind of beat them out. Let's take a look at what else there is in this. Here's some tags. So I can look at, let's look at Blizzard. Okay. There's a lot of these. 676, 650, 375. 355 winter transition snowstorm snowy blizzard loop 290 sales for 10 bucks so that's what 2900 yeah boy okay i think this is a winner so what i'm gonna do is kind of walk you through what i gotta do to make this happen so what i'm gonna do is scroll through my projects let's look through some old projects and i know i've got something here okay so after looking through some projects i found one that has some snow elements that I had created for a project that I can, I feel like I can just tweak and adjust and turn into a loop that I could sell uh, uh, on a site. So let's take a look at what we have here. So I'm in the project um, and this is just using a uh, trap code particular plugin and it's just snow and that was used to overlay or over footage. Uh, so I can tweak this and make this look different but I need it to loop. What works well for these particle effects and to make it loop is I can take this composition, pre-compose it, and then what I'll need to do is split the layer. So I'll go, I don't wanna to go too far. I'll give myself like two seconds and hit Control Shift D and that splits the layer in two, right there. So what I'll do is take this long layer, make that my starting point and take this short layer and bring that over here. So what we have now is the end of the short layer. The next frame afterwards is the starting point. So all we have to do is fade between these two right here and we'll have a perfect loop. And that is done very simply uh, with some opacity keyframes. And for the bottom one we'll start at 100 and then we will end at zero. Uh, one thing you want to do is not line them up perfectly. What happens there is you'll get this kind of fade in between that's very noticeable. Uh, so an easy way is just to kind of offset that a bit, um, and then it becomes a bit less noticeable. 
And I said, like I said, these are really good. This is an easy kind of trick to do for particle effects just because there's so much going on. It's really hard to notice where it's cutting when you look at it. Uh, and then also a uh, cool thing about what I did splitting the layer. It's really easy this way. Like I just looped. Did you? Could you tell? I couldn't tell. So I've got a few of these. I'm going to make different levels of snow. So just like low, medium, high, essentially, and so send it as a pack so that people have some elements to uh, go with. That can be done easily just by a few tweaks. And then um, I can sell it like, oh, you layer them on top of each other and it becomes like a multi-pack. And you're like, it's endless fun. So first I'm going to do a little research on, see if I can get any tips on how to do this kind of thing. Okay, here's a good video. Okay, this guy's got some stuff here. So that wasn't too bad. I've got all my uh, assets rendered out, ready to upload. Now I'm just trying to think of ways, like how do I stand out? There's a lot of snow and blizzard kind of stuff here. The thing that I think I'm going to work on, like what stands out to me when I just look is these frames, like these cool intros. So maybe I'll just make a kick-ass promo for it. And hopefully that'll get me to the top. Like that looks cool. Like... A lot of these, you know, I don't know, some just don't spark to me. I guess that whole thing of don't judge a book by its cover is, doesn't work. I judge, always judge a clip by its cover is what I say. All right, so here I am back in After Effects and I've created my little promo video. I really looked around on the Envato website and kind of took bits and pieces from other people's videos uh, that were drawn to me. I guess I just keep looking at this and thinking of this as like, if I were looking for a clip, what would I, what would draw my eye or attention to? One thing I did do is, is make this 3D text in uh, Cinema 4D that kind of blizzard slams at you and gets you into it. Um, all the snow is using the, the loops I've created and I just kind of go through and talk about, you know, it's seamless, it's 4K, uh, each one is 19 seconds long just under two minutes of snow. And then I also have like the name of each one. So if they're looking at the promo, they can then be like, you know, go back to it and be like, oh yeah, that's the one from Blues Behind or, you know, whatever. Um, and then for the imagery, I tried quick and dirty, uh, pulled images from Pexels, um, which are free images to use for stuff. Um, and just try to make this as quick and dirty as possible. So, so far I'd say this is probably where I spent the most time. Um, one last thing to note is what I did notice is that you can put music on these things and Envato also has their own music site, Audio Jungle, and uh, you can link it to something there. So I thought, you know, it could be kind of like a cool way to either interact with um, other you know, artists, uh, musical artists, if they want to, who, who knows? I don't know if that's going to have any benefit or not, but at least for me, it's a free way to use uh, a music track that I don't have to license or anything. I'm going to render this out and upload everything and uh, be done with it and rake in that cash. If anyone's got any tips or tricks, if they've sold stuff on Envato, I'd love to hear uh, if you know of any simple ways that could kind of boost your uh, your your work up onto the uh, the main page here, so I've wrapped it up, uploaded my assets and my promo video, waiting for that cash to pour in. Um, overall, I think it went pretty smoothly. Uh, definitely can do this in a weekend for sure. Uh, I think the the biggest hurdles for me were. Uh, definitely going through my old projects and kind of looking through the stuff. And luckily I organized everything. Uh, super important to stay organized. So it wasn't that difficult. Another thing was just technical, just trying to get over the hurdle of how people post on there and how the, how, how you upload and, uh, you know, tagging it and pricing it and all that kind of stuff. You have to do a little bit of background research for that. Other than that, I just think moving forward, I would love to kind of set as a uh, practice myself of like if, if I'm working on something that I like or that looks cool or that I know could be used as a template is like as the project's wrapping up, put it into motion that I take this, make it generic if possible, if the job allows me to make it generic and then upload it. It would have to be kind of part of my process. I don't know if I'd go back again and do that because it 
it was a it was it was a bit of work that was kind of a time suck and and the other thing the other biggest area was making that promo video i don't know we'll see we'll see on the numbers when they come through uh whether that helps me or not uh but again any comments if you see what i've done and you're like ah you're horrible that's the wrong way to do it let me know what are some tips i'd love to hear them so thanks for watching and uh hopefully next time you see me i'll have like a diamond studded grill and i'll be all blizzed out you know what i'm saying hey everyone make sure you subscribe to get updates on whether i make it or not and don't forget if you want to know more about making money as a motion graphic designer check out some other videos by motion hatch